you can handle the heat. Booyah, Kasha. Welcome back to another episode of Can't Handle the Heat. It's your boy, G Swizz, in the northern Germany and Lunarburg. And of course, I have the four do- or the three dolos. Of course, we have the big CEO, Joe, in Chaumont, France. Joey, how are you doing? I got back two hours ago. I was in Paris, so uh, just in time for the pod. Timed it perfectly. Just in time for the Joe had an absolute bender on Paris last night. Awesome. Speaking of bender, nah, nah, Sundays nah, nah. is when Sunday is usually if any if, if anyone has a recovery day on Sunday, it is the people's champion, the life of the party. In San Luis Obispo, Jake makes long. Jake, see how we do, man. Recovery day or not recovery day? Um, it's definitely a recovery day, but <laughs> like I said earlier, hey, I'm like Zach Bryan hitting an all night. The party baby. never ends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, wait, Jake, Jake, what is the big song right now that all the frat bros go, the frat bros Ooh. just go absolutely wild to right now? Uh, well, last year, last year it was definitely Pet Boss. That was the song that everyone was going crazy to. And <laughs> the last couple of weeks, um, at least if maybe it was the last month, this quarter, it's not really like a frat thing, but just like party thing in general. It's been murder on the dance floor. Ooh. Wait, How does that go? The- How does that go? And murder on the dance floor. That oh. one. Uh-huh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Ooh, that was a nice one, bro. Wait, 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 before, uh, uh. <laughs> before I introduce our last house, I have one more question, frat question. Does Mo Bamba still slap? Do you guys ever play that anymore or no? Mo Bamba has not slapped since I was like 16 and I was in high school. <laughs> All right, that is that is not true. Dude, I guess you guys you guys true. were like in college. You guys were in college when Obama came out, right? Dude, the DJ like there's a DJ I don't know where on TikTok that like plays like playlists, and one of them was like if you went to college from twenty whatever whenever we were in college, and it's like the top ten songs. Dude, so many amazing songs. Black Beatles, so you remember many. that one? Oh yeah, yeah. Where yeah. Just, everybody has to stay still. Oh. <laughs> We Mo Bamba have- for sure. At UCLA, we had a uh, UCLA. You had you yeah. at UCLA. <laughs> Go to UCLA. I hate that oh, freaking song. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Mike. I forgot to introduce you and Micah, my uh, the chosen child. And oh all yeah, the way yeah I'm here, I'm here. How we doing, Micah? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks, dude. Uh, Drinking coffee. What time is it there, Micah? <laughs> coffee's a thing here, bro. Hey, you can put other drinks in coffee mugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that's true. I love drinking else? water out of coffee mugs. <laughs> People think I'm weird Micah for it, but I do it. Nightcap. Micah. Oh, Micah. <laughs> yeah. It's straight Everyone vodka. Go. <laughs> the party never ends. <laughs> Ooze juice. <laughs> oh, the club. Oh, I like that. Like the club. Oh. <laughs> that. Yeah, I, love, I love that. Yeah, that's such a good one, man. Such a good one. Such an OG. All righty. We, we got a fun, fun, fun uh, show for you guys. I know a lot of listeners are listening because we're choosing the winner of a slunks. We uh, put the word out um, to win a pair of slunks. You got to send us the best story, the funniest story. And we had a lot of submissions. Uh, Jake went through all of them. I said, give me a top three to five. Um, so if you're I not up five. there, if you're not top. Okay. So if you're not top five, at Jake Makes Slunks is his Instagram. You can DM him for not getting a free pair of slunks. It's on him. Blame his ass. Um, yeah. My, my Instagram is um, Gage Worsley. I just changed. That's not even my issue, dude. That's not even. It's at G Swizzle Six. Come at me. At you G don't, Swizzle Six. Jake, Jake. Whatever. You have no idea the type of DMs I get. You have <laughs> no idea the the sickos and weirdos I have in my direct messages. It's, no, you mean my I, Instagram. I could, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what else we What else we got this podcast? Um, got updates on seasons. Jake's been getting crapped on in the comment section. Not um, doing a good enough job. The, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't. He's not know doing a good anything, enough job. Yes, whatever. <laughs> No, they. What do they say? They say that they they want us to. Why is Jake? Why is Jake talking about about their seasons, bro? <laughs> they should be talking about their own seasons. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Get durst on, bro. Hey, you um, know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm still gonna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna put our word in there. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say like one or two sent say one sentence after Jake talks. <laughs> you get eight There's words. Some, even more. You get eight words to dis- <laughs> to describe <laughs> the current season. It doesn't have to be a sentence, just eight words <laughs> describing it. Jake, you have you have Tell- to give all our updates to our season. You have you have every fifteen seconds you have to take an article of clothing off. And um I'm only wearing you two have to wrap things it up right now, so <laughs> Jake, well, it's a party, it's a party. You have to do slam poetry describing the seasons. Okay. 
That's true. Dude, hey, Jake. The only thing that I wh- what? What's uh? We talked about it before the pod. Can you teach us a uh, a big frat word that's happening right now? Like, what's mm. like a big one that's going around? Yeah, that dude. Jake's frat word of the day. Yes. Uh, frat. <laughs> frat, frat stat of the day. day. On off the dome right now. Um, <laughs> I think the. The one that gets said a lot, it's not very new, but I think I was saying it last summer, is is dust. I think I was saying a lot last summer. but Meaning? It's, it's Meaning and using a sentence, you, please? It's, yes. Uh, let's see. Oh, bro, I'm so dust for this test later. <laughs> like, so you, like you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, you're like, screwed. Like, you're screwed. Oh, dude. Yeah, but it, it's like, it's very versatile. It's like... It's guys oh, could man, be like, so good. oh, dude, I dusted her, bro. Like, she's dust. Wait, like, yeah. if you like, dust yeah, about she, a girl. Like, she's gone in girl, the dust, like, kind of. Like, yeah, like, you're like, no, nah, I'm done. Like, oh, she's dust, bro. I dusted yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> dusted. But it, okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah. Or like, I'm bro, bro you're dust. There, but I'm glad. You're dust. Like, that's okay. a big one. Calling someone, oh, bro, you're freaking dust, bro. <laughs> okay. We could have, we're going to have. Yeah, it's definitely a hockey thing. There's the hockey frat lingo is pretty similar. Mm-hmm. Got you, Jake. We're gonna keep doing this, man. We're gonna have you do this every okay. well every other week since our podcast comes out. We're gonna have you keep doing this. So keep coming up with some awesome. You can you can, you can feature ways. like a frat bro or like a sorority friend. You can bring him in for like a guest appearance, and they can. Ooh, maybe That's I'll true. bring in my associate here. My associate. Yeah, bring in your associate, bro. <laughs> Jake, what, bring in my what, associate. What? Your Shabu, frat Shabu. associate. My associate's sitting right, right next to me. Does he get? A, does he? You want him to have a frat lingo right now? Yeah, if he yeah, can bring rip him one in. Up the top of the dome. All right, Judah. <laughs> you gotta rip one quick, bro. They'll be wasting bring him time. In. He, he better be doing you. it, or he's dust, bro. He's dust if he doesn't. They like, say you're dust if you're not quick, doing though. it. Nah, bro. <laughs> super dust. Judah, you got yeah, ten of seconds. A frat lingo word, and you got to use it in a sentence. It's like a spelling bee, but we're not actually spelling. <laughs> frat bros don't spell. Yeah. So, so Jake, Jake, what, what, who is, who, who are you in the frat, and who's your associate in the frat? Like in terms of my associate position. Oh my God! Look what he's wearing. This is awesome. <laughs> Wait. The boys, look at this tag team. Look at this duo right here. <laughs> Judah, how's it going? Ciao, yeah, bro. Can you hear us? What's up? What's well, good, brother? Wait, uh, yeah, can you hear us? Judah, no. Uh, yeah, hop on, dude. You swagged Just out. Asking the question. Uh, uh, can you walk us through for the people for the people that are that can't see you? Uh, they can. They they're listening just like through audio. Can you walk us through your fit real quick? I already used dust. Yeah, I got the. It's not. It's a CP Bucky, <laughs> with the Pit Vipies, <laughs> and the Milly Light Long Sleeve. <laughs> bro, we appreciate that. What what do you got down under? What do you got down under, bro? Oh, dude, nothing's oost, but I got on the Lulu Lemmy active joggies. Okay, Lulu Lemmy. <laughs> yeah, you're all lemmied out. Okay, well we need we need a we need a frat word right now from you. You need to come with your frat lingo. Oh, uh, we got a few. Um, you already went over the. How do you do dust? Dust furred. 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 Explain. You got to explain using a sentence. Explain using a sentence too. Um, like when Jakey gave me spankings last night, that was super <laughs> furred of him. <laughs> there we go, good. bro. Good, good, Dude, good. Else? Jake and I haven't been hanging around uh, too many frat bros recently. We've been trying to clean up our image, you know. Dude, the image is looking good right now. <laughs> I think you, I think you've cleaned it up big time. Yeah, we've been trying. We've been trying. A question. I have a question. Trying if, to think of some if, other. If if like a girl or someone is valid, Jake used that. What does that mean? Oh yeah, like really valid, valid or not valid. It can be two things. Like if she's cool, it it has double meanings. Just depends on the context, you know. Mm. Like if she's a cool cool person, or anybody can be valid. Like <laughs> cool, you know, want to hang out with them. Like valid, like check. But wearing something really nice, then she's. Valid. Got you. you. Got and then a, yeah, a VV. Bro. Yeah, a VV, bro. A VVS. Very valid shoddy. <laughs> oh. VVS. 
That's gonna be. We can all use right. that. In I real think that's time, all. Too, I, I think that's all I can offer for today. But that, bro, get on with your recovery go. day, dude. Electrolytes. Get the feet up. Doctor we'll, P's. We'll, you got a big we'll weekend come. next weekend. Yeah, Doctor P's V's. We'll get that. Um, we. What do we have next weekend? Next weekend is actually the biggest weekend of the year here at Cal Poly. What it, bro? Wow. It is uh, Saint Friday's day. Are we getting a vlog? Ooh. Yeah, dude. Are we getting a vlog? I am not vlogging Saint Friday's day. Can it's we get a vloggy? <laughs> I am not vlogging St. Friday's Day. People should comment. <laughs> we should see if people would want to vlog. We'll see. We'll see in the comments section. Bro, you're I'm not, not furred, bro. You're not furred. That's I'm not furred, bro. That's not furred. Have so I explained you, I've explained to you guys what St. Friday's Day is, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, for the people yep. out there listening, it is... If you're picking a college, you should pick Cal Poly solely based on St. Friday's Day. It is... It's the it's the best day of the year. You can look up things on YouTube, and everyone wakes up at three in the morning on the Saturday before finals, and you just get after it. How does one get and after it? Like, I I can send we can link some. I could we could put a photo and I have a photo from last year video from last year, but like the streets are just completely filled. Like you cannot go anywhere. And three a.m. Get after it. Respect, bro. Jake, you're 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 a trooper, man. You're a trooper. Well, I'm glad we got go. this, this little. Sorry, wait, continue. No, I was just saying, and then you're in bed by noon, sleep till 5 p.m., and you start studying for finals. That's wild. Good for you, man. You're a trooper. I could never. I could never. Um, but thank you for this frat dialogue. This has actually been super insightful. No joke. Uh, thank you for that, Jakey. But before Thanks, we get this season, um,. I want to give a shout out. Everyone here is wearing their brand new out of system merch. You got Joe here. Obviously, he's got the crew neck. Joe and Micah, pretty much in the same thing. You got it in the Oost Boost crew neck and also the trucker cap. You got Jake also in a long sleeve live out of system with Usi on the back. Says live out of system. Look at that, bam. Jake, what do you got? What do you got behind you, too? And, and as, as, as so do I here. You can see partially. Live. Out of system. Uzi. Live out of system. Wearing ooze socks. Bro, yeah, where'd you get that? I want one of those. What the hell? You don't ha you don't have those yet? Joe's got stickers. Look at Joe's stickers too. We got everything. CEO I got a bunch Joe. of stickers here too. What hey, was the place? What was the place in Kansas City called? The Pig Witch. No. Uh Star Section? Pro City Light Section? No. Power oh. and Light. Power and Light District. District. Power and Light District, me and Joe matching all over again with with <laughs> mixed lungs, not that, not matching. I wasn't there. I was still if 18. We, oh. <laughs> I was 18. I couldn't that go. That was quite an event. You were with, Micah, you we, ended up with me and Jake in the Burger King parking lot. <laughs> ah. And, that, and I'm going to leave anything up for interpretation to our listeners of what happened. Micah, you are more than welcome to explain what happened that wild night. But we can also leave it at that. I got my nights mixed little, up. I got my nights mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear the update, so, huh, Jake? I knew I knew it was gonna be a, I knew it was gonna be a big night for Micah. I texted him before he went out. Let me know when you want to you want me to come get you. <laughs> what, bro? What? What are you talk talking about? about, bro? All right, we're let's gonna, get the updates going. going. All right, updates all on the right, season wait, for wait, all the hate for for all the haters out wait, there. Wait, wait, Jake, really quick, really quick, really quick. Again, the drop is on the fifteenth here. We got slungs dropping as well. Uh, we got a bunch of new stuff coming out. It's actually super sick. Mike, your first thoughts on the merch, really quick, go. Okay, dude, the merch is actually so good. I'm so glad that we handed it over to Jake. Jake, you, you killed it. This thing is sick. The full, I got the bottom. Can you guys see? I don't know Did how you it's You a little higher. You got to jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> but I got these Looks on. Nice. I mean, these, like the full body sweats is stupid. Bro, Jake, you killed it. You really killed it. I need one of those flags too. Also, to I don't want to hear coming. anybody say anything about shipping because these things made it to me. And if they make it to me, they'll make it to you wherever you are in the world. So go Amen, ahead and brother. trust that shipping. Amen. Shows you the flag here too. So yeah, it's all coming. Mike, the second, it comes in two waves. The second packaging is coming soon here. So you'll have it soon. Oh, ah, okay. Like you had ordered good. online? Just <laughs> no. Me? <laughs> no, 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 it's almost dude. there. No, no. All right, Jake, updates on season. We'll go one by one here and then get kind of give. So he'll go with Joe. Joe, he'll update you. He'll do your update and then you kind of talk about it because everyone right. hates Jake makes long. Jake, go ahead. All right, so Joe still in first place in the French League. 
Uh, two matches left before playoffs, where he has to lock in for playoffs. No more messing around. And uh, he beat Paris 3-2 in an exhilarating match. Joe, take me through your season, bro. Yeah, I mean, we're only in one competition um, for the remainder of the season. We're not in any other. We're out of cup. We're out of uh, European competition. So uh, we're six points ahead right now with two matches left. Um, so holding on to the first place would be huge, having home court here. But yeah, played in Paris. They sold out the arena last night. We had a bunch of our fans. It was electric crowd last night. Big time. Uh, went three hour match. They played in. They played so well. Um, that's the one thing I was talking to like uh, some of our guys after. Like every single team plays like so well against us. They sell out the arena. The energy, <laughs> and it, every time we go places, like, and then they'll like, the, you know, they'll they'll lose like to other teams like the week before or the week after. Well, I'd say this happens every week, but then they just play like super well. And they played Unreal that night. Uh, so props to them. Um, we had guys like cramping going. They had guys cramping like going down. It was just like crazy rallies all night. Um, super fun, like playoff atmosphere. But uh, yeah, we're getting ready for playoffs here pretty soon. We're home against Montpellier on a TV match this week. So that'll be a big one. Um, French League's wild though. Uh, this past weekend, so many like teens at the, on the bottom half. Uh, knocked off like tour. I mean, I, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm not gonna get into too much of that because you guys probably don't understand too much. But um, oh, or of like the French league and kind of the dynamics. But we uh, we are getting ready for playoffs. So um, everything's going well though. I'm I'm really excited for playoffs and what our team can do. Let's go. Fire me so up. sick, man. Yeah. So Micah, first place Come in the next. Turkish league. Way to go, Micah. Had a great run, but was unfortunately eliminated from Champions League last week. Um, yeah. If Turkish Cup coming up, which is separate from playoffs, Micah can explain that a little yeah. bit. Uh, and they have two regular season matches left. Micah, let's hear it. No, you said it pretty well. We got Turkish Cup coming up. We got two more regular season matches. We're in first place right now. Um, Fenerbahce is in second, and I think we need to. I think we need to win one of the two games left. We play Galatasaray and Fenerbahce, who are like the two biggest Turkish football clubs. Um, and they're both pretty good at volleyball. One's in second and one's in fourth in the league. So we have to win one of them to, to secure first place, which is big because then we'll qualify for Champions League for next year. Um, and so that's super important. And then, yeah, Turkish Cup, which is we're in the semifinals. And then on to the playoffs, which we go straight to the semis. So jam-packed end of the year kind of could have made it to the semis of the Champions League but didn't play our best volleyball and they did so two share hats off to them yep it's competition yeah so Gage Gage is currently in fourth place in the German League um, regular season is over so they're the four seed going into the playoffs they play Hersching. Um, I think I, I think I said that right nice uh, yeah oh, that's, that's impressive I don't know. There's not a lot of people who can nail that. I, I know, spell I know you I how I spelled you out, it. Yeah, I know. I you it told H-A-I-R-S-H-I-N-G. me today. <laughs> A-I-R-S-H-I-N-G. Um, hey, whatever so helps. Gage, yeah, whatever floats the boat. Gage is going to be in the European <laughs> Cup final, which is a huge deal. Uh, if you're watching this live, Gage actually played yesterday versus Rizovia, uh, which is the team TJ DeFalco plays on. It's one of the top teams in the Polish league, um, which is recognized as one of the best leagues in the world. And I don't know, something about a Worsley versus DeFalco final, like club final, college final, now European Cup final. That's kind of crazy to think about. Crazy. I never thought about that, actually. That's a good point. Dude, all Ludenberg LKH Arena is going to be bumping. Ooh, it's it's so lit there. Sure, dude. If you guys are any German listeners, I think it's, yeah, it's sold out already. But if you can find a way to get in there, it's going to be electric. It's one of the coolest places to watch a volleyball match, I would say. It's uh, it it sold out in about five minutes. Like people begging me and stuff. Dang, it's really yeah. that big of a dude. You guys are dude, really rocking that town, man. It's crazy, bro. You go in here, it's crazy and everything. How many seats um, in the arena? Was it like 33, 32, Joe? 38? 32 or thirty three? Thirty two or thirty three? Yeah. And it really like did. Just, it really did just pop off when like you were there, right, guys? Uh, yeah. with Joe, Joe, it was, it was my kind of my Joe kind of started it. And then my first year is when it started getting crazy over here, bro. So yeah. yeah. So we got that. So I just see, I see today tomorrow going on a little, going on a little breakfast date. So we'll see about, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe soften them up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But Hey, give me, give me a few balls, you know, 
Yeah. Slip a little got, something in his drink or something. Yeah, I might. I don't know, dude. Um, but yeah, so we got that. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I can't remember a team. Some a team like us making it this far is pretty pretty remarkable. It's awesome. Um, and we have all the we have all the confidence in the world, and uh, we're gonna go in there. It's also free on YouTube, by the way. So there's two games, by the way. There's game one and game two. It's gonna be both free on YouTube. Should be CV CV volleyball, right, Joe? Or uh, is it European yeah. volleyball? Yeah. Same. Maybe thing, I'll, right? maybe I'll live stream. Maybe me and Micah for like half a set will live stream our reaction and watching. It. When is it? Wednesday. Tuesday. 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 Yeah, I'm free. It should be free if it's late. Tuesday, enough. seven o'clock. And yeah, Jake. Yeah. If Jake's, but Jake's in class a lot, so maybe maybe we'll have gotta, a little live stream, like for a little bit. We'll see. Would yeah. you guys want to live stream on Instagram? Or would you live stream it? Uh, people tell us what you guys would want down below. Dude, what oh, platform? Well, well it, it's already gonna be. It'll the game's already gonna. So happen. the second. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Don't have, let us know. But the second. You guys let us know. Happen. How? What you thought of it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you thought of the live stream that we're announcing right now. That's gonna be aired before this comes out. <laughs> but like I said, there's gonna be there's two matches. The second match is more important. Like you can lose three out of the first match, and then you gotta do some set crazy stuff the second match, which we did to get from the semis to get here. But yeah, so that's what really really interesting. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's an update. It's gonna be crazy. Let's let's let's, let's fire it up. Okay, another segment I want to kind of add to this. So usually we do blind reactions. Um, but I was like, you know what, to our audio listeners, it's not fair. They probably get annoyed if I'm being honest. YouTube listeners obviously see it all the time, but we'll do that every other week we'll, or every other episode. So instead, I want to just I kind of want to learn more about the world. I want to learn more about what you guys are interested in. And then I call this fire facts. I want everybody to share an interesting fact about anything. And that's kind of up for discussion about it. You know, something maybe you learned as of recent. Something you know, something you looked up. Anyone want to go first? I can go first. Jake, so let's go. I found, I've been seeing all these facts on TikTok, which are like historical facts that mess with your sense of time and like the perception of time. Mm. Um, so George Washington died in 1799. The first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1824. George Washington never knew dinosaurs existed. I saw that. I saw that. That's that's so crazy. Like, like their reality, like their their reality of history is so. I mean, you, you can't blame them. I'm not, I'm not saying oh they're so stupid, but it's just so far off of like what we know now. That it's it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like going back in time and just like thinking about what they knew and what they didn't know, or what we don't know that was like way before, like all the stuff about the pyramids and stuff like that. Just like gets guess my brain going i saw this thing was like woolly mammoths were around when the pyramids were being built i mean which is those also the dude during that time they were absolute like crackheads they would put like like george washington had lead teeth that like putting lead in your mouth is, i thought wooden lead, i thought it was wooden, look, it was wooden. I, I heard it was lead and wooden teeth i heard oh, both. oh, oh. It's like a combo. <laughs> that dude was a fiend, bro. That dude was that dude was popping off at all times of the day. Like that's would be, so wild to me. Is that like the eighteen hundreds uh, or, or seventeen hundred? I guess is the equivalent of yeah. just packing upper decks. Well, it was in Bobway, <laughs> upper deckies. George Washington was packing upper deckies on a twenty four seven three sixty five basis, pretty much. That's why he, he won the Revolutionary in, War. He had built in upper deckies. <laughs> Perm. Oh Jake, that was head over there. <laughs> Jake, thank you for the interesting fact. I want Joey to go next, Joey. So, uh, let me go last. All right, these clearly the guys were super prepared for this. Micah, you have a fact. Well, I I actually have two things, but one is uh, you know the 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 national animal of of Scotland. Uh, oh, I've yeah, I do this. know this actually. Is it like a dragon or something? Yeah, it's no, a no. unicorn. It's a unicorn. A yeah. unicorn. It's a unicorn. So I just found that. But but uh, a different fact that I had, um, it's actually from the Bible. And it's that before when there are people like, uh, this is according to the Bible, um, before Noah's Ark happened and the flood like cleared out the world, those people only were vegetarians. And then after the flood, God said, okay, you can also like eat the, 
the animals that I put on the earth. Wait, is this via Bible or via his like scientific Bible? Bible. I I'm reading like the Bible, and I I learned that. Isn't that interesting? I had no idea. What What was the reason for them being vegetarians? It was just like his commandment was like everything green and like every yeah I think it's technically everything green that I put in the earth is for you to eat, and so they're eating that. And then after he said, also I give to you basically like uh, the animals walking around. And so wait, so like what made him flip a switch? He's like, I saved these animals now, just go like eat them. No idea. But I all I know is that only until after Noah's Ark. Which is not like a short amount of time, uh, were they able to eat meat? Mm. Dude, I had this, I had this vegan, I had this vegan guy tell me that, and I'm not saying he's wrong. I, I, I have no. Tell idea you that exactly? No, no. He told me this. He told me this. He said, oh. he said, he said, humans. I, I, I didn't agree with it. Maybe I'm wrong. It sound like an idiot here. But they said that humans are naturally not omnivores. They are. Vegetarians, you know hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like he I mean, he made me give the example, and like I said, I'm sure people could shred this apart, and I'm not, and I don't agree or don't agree with him. I eat a crap ton of meat, um, because like you put like a like a baby dog or a wolf and a baby kid, you know, the dog will eat, you know, kid. the wolf, but then the baby kid won't eat, like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like you, I was like, you mean you're saying that a wolf, a baby wolf, would eat a baby? A baby no, kid. A baby, a baby no, kid. A baby no, no, no. You're saying wolf? if you put yeah, yeah. a exactly. baby. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. And I'm like, yeah, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's his argument. That's yeah. That was his. I was just kind of like nodding my head. It was also a long drive when he was talking to me. I just kept nodding my head. You know, in that situation. But yeah, I was like, mm. well, I felt like Never one. Like that, but. Would a baby kid be able to even kill the baby wolf? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like the Maybe. reason why we're able to hunt is because, like, well, not only, but like Long we're able to like minds. work together. You know, like a baby kid alone against a baby wolf. I don't know. And also, yeah. if that baby kid's gonna die and it's only going off primal instincts, it's gonna eat whatever it can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I that, that's just something he said to me. Made me think. I don't agree with it or, or disagree. I, I didn't. I haven't really thought about it. But you just okay. Well, anyway, of that. Yeah, that's what um, I. That's what I learned this week. That's interesting. Um, my fact is trees can communicate with each other. And I'm going to read a little par- passage here. Wait, this what is can from communicate with each other? Trees. Trees. Ah, through the fungus, right? Yeah. So this is from OneTreePlanted.org. Isn't it through trees? fungus in the, under the ground? Like that micro or what's it called with an M? I'm reading it. I'm going to read it right now. No. Um, microdosing? <laughs> no. The trees are micro or macro? Some sort of, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just um, remembering. Sorry. All right. All right. Let me get this patch here. Trees talk to one another through an intricate f- a network of fungi in the soil dubbed the wood wide web. It connects trees at the roots, allowing them to communicate by sending signals about upcoming trees like droughts or disease. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. This allows trees to alter their behavior upon receiving the signal. So, like, for example, if... Okay, they they see a threat. They see, they're like, okay, whisper, there's a threat coming or whatever. They communicate. They see Jake walk by. They whisper, there's a fucking, there's a little bitch walking past us. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a big difference to that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you hear what I said or no? I yes. don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. I'm I, saying that there's a threat, and then if Jake walks by, then they're like little 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 bitch walking by. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so they're communicating different so things. You're saying I'm not a threat to one of them. Are you a threat? Do you think you're a weapon? I'm a <laughs> lethal academic weapon. It's debatable. No, that Maybe. is crazy though. That like whatever the fung guy network under the ground is pretty insane. Respect. Respect. So that's my fact. Joe, you go last. So in lieu of my uh, adventure today, um, actually, so this morning I dropped my parents. My parents are here the past week. I had to take him to... Uh, Charles de Gaulle, Paris Airport, and they I was staying with a friend, Avery, at another hotel, and they come pick me up. They brought my car up from Ch- uh, Chamont, and I drop them off, but I never turned off the car uh, when I dropped them off. 
turn around and go back to the city because I was picking up some teammates to go before I like drove back to my town. My dad calls me once to get back in the city. It's 45 minutes each way, easily. And then there's tons of traffic. You're in the middle of Paris. And uh, and my dad calls me. He's about to get on the plane. He's like, yeah, I have your car key. I only have one car key. <laughs> and he's going back to the U.S. And I, if I stop, the, if I turn the car off at all, like I'm just stuck. <laughs> I have no key. Bruh. So but if, dad, what if you run out of gas because you can't exactly, fill gas with the exactly and my dad finds out some way to get it to like the through Lufthansa to their desk so I have to go drive all the way back out to uh, my for a second time to the airport oh my god go there and they're just laughing they're like how did you get here <laughs> how did you drive out here they were all laughing but uh it was why like it was yeah it it's the kind simple. of key that, like, obviously you don't need to you yeah, yeah, put yeah, in. It's, it's like button. one of the fobs yeah. or something. Yeah, exactly. It's like a it's like a mid size SUV, like, um, and so like driving through Paris is not fun, uh, in that thing. But uh, my fun fact is, I'm gonna have you guys guess how many stop signs do you think there are in the entire city of Paris? Um, seven hundred fifty four. Seven fifty four. Okay. 754. Can you guys yeah. hear me? Can you guys hear me at all or no? That one I didn't yeah. hear. 754. 354. Okay. Seven. Everybody. 754, he said. Oh my. Can you guys not hear me? Seven. No. Is it like okay. this every episode? I'm going to go with. 754 is kind of a lot. It's in Paris, this, this within city limits? Yeah, like city limits. In the How big is Paris? Can I get a U.S. Comparison? Pretty big, <laughs> like New York. I don't know. We I have to look that up. But just throw out, just throw out a guess. Just give me a number. Uh, two thousand five hundred. Okay. A thousand. A thousand five hundred. The answer is there's zero stop signs in the entire Only city. Only roundabouts. There is not a single stop sign in the entire city of Paris. I thought an interesting fact. That's and ridiculous. Every, yeah. Bro, I'm look what? Up how many stop signs in New York. What? Yeah. That's pretty wild. Not even for like a, a specific reason? Nope. They say zero stop signs. I do kind of remember it's, that about France now. Is that there yeah. are any stop signs kind of anywhere? Just go straight to I think. I didn't get this the number of stop signs, but I got how many intersections there are with traffic signals. And guess what that is? In, in New York Paris? City, all the Oh, all in New York, New York City. City, probably just an absolutely insane amount, right? Ten yeah, seven hundred and fifty-four. Ten thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. <laughs> Thirteen thousand five hundred and forty three intersections mm. with stoplights. It's kind of crazy. Damn. Damn, that's Damn, crazy. Daniel. One stop sign. That's well, crazy. It would have been even funnier, actually, if it was one. I would have been so much cu they, more so, curious uh, there was a couple about, like, where is that one and why is it, like, why does it exist? There's a couple that you go and look and it says, like, oh, there's rumors that there's one, but everywhere says it's, it's zero. But they said, but there's also some that say, oh, there's rumors that there's one single one, though. So maybe, maybe yeah, you got to go but, find it. You go take it. <laughs> Somebody just put it up himself. <laughs> Next week, I'm just going to have a stop sign behind me and then the podcast. Like, this is, I got the stop sign. That would be legendary. <laughs> Stole it. That would be so <laughs> sick. All righty, guys. Let's choose the winner of the Slunks. The Slunks winners have probably been listening to this. They're like, I've literally <laughs> talked to Jake and his frat bros. I've learned about <laughs> trees talking and stop signs. I just want to know if I won the slunks or not. So Jake, we you're can't go timestamp this. We can't timestamp this. this yeah, we have to time. watch the whole thing. <laughs> timestamp everything except that when we read off the slunks. Oh, uh, that'd be good. That'd I'm be not going to read off. No. I'm not going to read off their names, and unless. It's the winner because some people say they don't want their names out there no no don't read off anyone's name say this this will be the winner blah blah we'll contact you also i think we go story maybe do a quick reaction next story quick reaction and then we choose at the end of all the stories who we think jake you got to come up with an alias for each person (laughs) okay um there was a lot of good stories um so it's kind of hard to pick uh how many how many if you were to estimate there was like i think there was like 
35 that I, I read okay. over. A um, lot of good stories. Again, sorry if I did not pick you to be in the top five. My Instagram is gswill6 if you want to um, throw hate in the DMs. All right. Um, first story. What it starts off once upon a time. Let's go. Once upon a time, I had a high school volleyball match that was filled with students. This match was an away match for my team, so there were plenty of girls watching me and my team play, even though it was a good match. Unfortunately, we lost. After the match, I was approached by one of the girls who wanted my Instagram, and I gave it to her. We went on two dates, but me and her weren't really clicking. Um, and top of the fact, she lived around 30 minutes away. I grew distant. I began to flirt with another girl that went to my school without officially breaking things off with the previous girl. Due to the fact that these girls went to completely different schools and had no knowledge of each other's existence, I figured there was no way I'd be caught. So a week had gone by, everything was fine. I had a home game that week against the same school that the previous girl goes to. Um, I told her fans weren't allowed to go because I thought it was safe, um, and she had agreed not to go. All right, dude, you're just lying already. Um, Fast forward to the match. That's the the excuse he came out with, dude? Yeah, no, no fans. Maybe it was like during COVID, we don't know. Yeah, but even uh, like forward. the team's gonna go. Like her team's gonna go if she knows a single person at the entire school. Yeah. All right. Fast forward to the match, and the girl had showed up to the match to quote unquote surprise me, while the other girl I was getting into the quote talking stage with behind was behind her, um, and was also there. So at this point in time, I had two girls who both thought they would go on a date with me at the same time, at the same game, in the same gym, at the same damn time. I surely thought I was screwed, but I managed to somehow play it off and not give either of them a clue about what was really going on. I finished the match and stormed off with an upperclassman, making it home to break things off with one of the girls. And to this day, neither of them know about what happened. Hmm. Hmm. This well, one. <laughs> also, uh, I don't want to like snitch on anyone, but there are also multiple people overseas that are like known for having multiple women and at home games having to like get the seats for the woman across like the like spread out through the gym like one is in section that section one's in the other section one's in another section and like and like the person that's buying the tickets knows like do not put these tickets next to each other they have to be separate bro we i'm not gonna name what team this was but there i've been part of a team one time where you just like look around behind your bench and um I'm a good boy. Maybe I didn't do any crazy things, but where the team, you just see the team, you just well, you go out with the team, obviously, stuff happens. You see stuff happening. And you just look behind your bench. Then you do a full three sixty of the whole event. And it's just the girls that guys were doing whatever with it was just a mess and then like right behind the team bench and you're like oh my god things are getting messy here and it's just bad it is really bad but to respond to that story first of all one don't cheat that's the moral of the story don't cheat ever if you're gonna break it off break it off with someone um I mean, I guess he did get away with it. So maybe you're like, well, I did get away with it, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> but don't do that. Definitely don't do that. It's, it, was, it was pretty wild because it'll always blow back in your face. You, you, I mean, you see it time Karma. after time. Karma. Don't, don't do again that. And again Karma and comes again. around. It does. It does. Simple does. It Boys, what's your reaction? All right. Oh, wait, sorry. No, I gave, I gave my reaction. It was just... Reminding me of some other people. Yeah, no, I, you see, Micah hit on point. I you definitely see that stuff happening a lot in Europe, more so than anywhere, I feel like, where guys, yeah, like multiple girls showing up to the games and got to balance. Like after the game gets a little tricky when they all kind of start walking yeah, to the court. It's tough. You got to balance that out. Um, But yeah, it's, some of them are experts at it. So, you know. Yeah. The fake <laughs> drug test, too. It's a, I can drug test, drug t- I got to go drug test, drug test. It's like, bro, how many games are you going to pull that off? Oh, it's unbelievable. Drug test. <laughs> Just all the time, dude. He starts getting a guy to dress up for him and come and like, yeah, with a clipboard. Like, <laughs> he hires it's like our junior, our junior team player with like a hat and a clipboard and lanyard and just every time escorts him to the drug test. Doping, doping. 
He's wearing like a he's wearing like a lab coat. He's like two two junior players stacked on top of each other in a yeah. lab coat. <laughs> oh well, yeah, that's doping. What are you gonna do? <laughs> he's got like an Albert Einstein fake mustache. That doping guy looked a, a little strange to me, bro. <laughs> There's a doping guy in each city. He's a dope. He has girls in each city and a doping guy in each city that he has, <laughs> that he hires. <laughs> Oh, that's good, man. That's good. System. All right. Next one. Let's next go to the one, next Nathan. story. All right. Hello, Oos. The best volleyball story I can remember came from this year during our first tournaments as a college club team. During one, during game one alone, our libero turned into prime Scott Sterling and got head tapped 18 times in one game. By the end of the game, his face, <laughs> parentheses, which is normally brown as he's Indian. Love you, buddy. <laughs> was both a mix of red and and imprinted with the shape and texture of a molten ball. He was known throughout the tourney as Indian Scott Sterling. Sadly, we lost the tournament because by the end of it, he was so out of it, he couldn't pass a ball straight. Dude, so this is on the coaching staff. In the U.S., especially now with concussion stuff, if a guy gets hit like two or three, two or three times, it's really dangerous, Like first yeah. of all. If you get a concussion and then you go play and get concussed again, it's really, really detrimental. Um, and there's a lot of studies showing that. But obviously when you hear the number it's like hard not to laugh 18 times in the head is a lot of times um but and he should not be on the court after absolutely not 18 times you're like all right let's get this guy off the court yeah Did at you cal know it's... poly oh my god oh go jake i was saying at cal poly if you get hit once in the head they'll send you straight to the training staff they go they you get hit ten. once it's just straight literally because the training room is obviously in the gym so Send you straight in there. Well, I think also, like, there's this weird law of the universe where, like, if you get hit in the head once, especially if you have a concussion somehow, your head becomes a magnet. Like, every time that somebody's coming back from a concussion, they get hit in the head. And, like, nobody else will get hit in the head, and it's always the guy that, like, shouldn't be getting hit in the head. The ball just finds that guy. So, yeah, I don't so big. It's like a weird, yeah. It's a weird. Law I don't think of it's all, I don't something. think it's a law of the universe. I think it's also a big part on them because I've I've been playing players who get hit in the face a lot, and I'm like, why do you always get hit in the face? It's because one, they're usually really bad with their hands, usually the, the face a lot of the time. Like you see their defensive stance where they're in the front row or the back row, and if they're in the front row, their hands are just absolutely wild. And if you jump really high, you're gonna get hit in the face. And then the back row, they have their hands super wide or down by the crotch. And you're asking for it at that point, you know, and they're standing in bad situations. And I'm always like looking at them like, how are you always getting hit in the face? You know, and I, and I used to get hit in the face a lot, too. And then I realized, like, what am I doing? Just like realize where you're going, where they want to swing. If you're getting hit in the face, that means you're probably too high up, probably. I mean, once, okay. Twice, maybe, okay. Third, fourth, fifth time, you're like, okay, you're staying <laughs> in the wrong freaking spot here. 16, 17, 18 time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you're in the wrong just asking spot. For it. Yeah. So like I don't I don't entirely agree. Uh, yeah, there have been cases where it is this weird energy where it just happens. And but I'm telling you, it's like a lot of it is like obviously there's freak stuff, but like a lot of it is their poor positioning and poor reaction time and poor stances. In my opinion, did you see it? Did it you pisses see me that off. Clip? Did you see that clip? It was from the UH game last week against I think it was Emmanuel or Emmanuel someone, and they got, it was a back row attack. I don't know who hit it, but their libero got like domed harder than i've ever seen someone get hit in the head it was the paris no, 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 serve pretty viral. you see the serve spiros serve uh against lewis three nights ago like hawaii's best player just unloads a serve down the line Sh- headshot like hard headshot waffling Sh- or what uh it was it was going long it was, i mean it wasn't waffling so much it was just like i mean he got a hold of it and just dome straight into the like top of the lower bowl <laughs> That's crazy. But. All right, should I go to the next story? Yeah, yeah, yeah go for it. All right, I'll set the scene. That's what it says. That's a, that's a gauge line. We had just lost our last game of the season at AU Nationals. We played hard, and we were proud of our season. As usual, it was an emotional time as things came to an end. However, the fun wasn't over. We had to ref a match before we could leave. And two of my teammates didn't have any responsibilities, so we decided to grab some convention center pizza before refing. We grab our pizza, sit down, and begin to talk about the week in the upcoming high school season. Eventually, one of my friends noticed a man with his phone out. He is clearly trying to record or take photos sneakily 
His phone is pointing right at us, and we are the only people in the entire pizza place. Eventually, we realize he that he is not recording us. He's recording our teammates' feet. After the game, my teammates oh. took off his socks and shoes and changed back into Birkenstocks, and he had the dogs out. They were barking, and a guy was the guy behind was loving every second of it. This guy must tell we are on him because he moves closer and strikes up a conversation. He mentions watching us all week. He mentions watching our last game and saying that he really hopes that we can come back next year. Keep in mind, this guy is about 33 wearing jorts and a USA shirt that definitely had no business being at a boys volleyball tournament. Now my teammate, being the laid back guy he is, straight up went to this man and said, dude, I see your camera open. If you want to take a picture of my feet, just got to ask. We were stunned. <laughs> Even this guy didn't know what to say at first. At first, he denied it, but then he realized my teammate was serious, and he seamlessly took multiple photos of my teammate's feet. He even wanted to oh. ask if he could take his shoes off. I wish I could make this up. We knew this guy's not really not not right grammar here. It's hard to read. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Um, we knew that this we had to wild, go, so we packed up and left. And the second we stepped out of the place, we lost it, and the guy followed us all the way back to our court before dipping back into. I don't even know what that word is. I don't know what this guy is, but he's a legend. Uh, let's just say the AU Nationals definitely happens in Florida. Oh Check out the video attached for proof, but don't show proof on the pod. Ridiculous. Man, there's some strange people out there in the world. I'll say that. This and is my number one so far. This is by far my number one in terms of the wildest story. Me as well. It's also crazy that then they proceeded to have a photo shoot and you asked him to take his <laughs> shoe off. That's pretty ridiculous. Man, he could like, make money off I, that. He could have made money. Imagine if like that, sure if the paid. guy's like, yeah, yeah, come over here. Okay, put him up on, and he starts posing his feet. Like, put him up on this chair. What if he asks, can I taste him? Can I suck on them? <laughs> yeah, sure. Suck him, so <laughs> and my teammate being the laid back guy that he was. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, just, just, tell me, just tell me where those toes have been. <laughs> bro's, yeah, bro's sure. Bro's ultra chill. <laughs> How chilled out is this guy? <laughs> my, my teammate's want, so chill. Care. My teammate's so chill. He'll do. He let us. Didn't know he was chill like that. Didn't know he was chill like that. Bro was chill. Fold him back to the car. <laughs> no. <laughs> no For a private session. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> what if this guy's actually like an actual foot model and these guys got hired? That'd be that'd be that'd be a uplifting story. I don't. I th- there's a. I think a this guy is chance. like one of those weirdos that hangs around junior tournaments, and you know, obviously he has a fetish. But Wearing there's a lot George. of weird people that hang around juniors events, and there's a lot of weird. Like I said at the beginning, there's a lot of weird, strange people out there. So Definitely. these these stories never, uh, you know, they never like surprise you because you just like realize being at a bunch of different events just weirdos hanging around a lot i will i am surprised how chill that teammate is maybe the chillest teammate of all time because <laughs> my teammate's so chill have you guys ever done uh a florida man yes yeah yeah your birthday if you look up a date yeah, right yeah it's basically Mine, you have to I like think- give your birthday and then say uh blank like whatever your birthday is a florida man and google and then you'll probably get something pretty ridiculous. I, I did mine a little while ago. It was pretty good. It was actually, it had, to, it had to do something like he covered himself in peanut butter and tried to like rob an Arby's. Like something along the lines of that. <laughs> Gage, what's your birthday? <laughs> October 21st, 1998. But this I might be a story up, about I, Gage. No. <laughs> what? Dude, I've looked stuff, like, I've looked like this stuff up, but like it comes different every time. I remember, I remember the second time I looked it up though was the funniest. The first one was like super like normal, but the second one was just absolutely wild. <laughs> Anything? Anything good, Micah? Uh, a Florida man accused of killing his neighbor after cat wandered onto his property. That's the first um, one. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I don't think we're going to find anything right now. To kind of- we should use a Florida Flo- man. Florida man tries to toss alligator on roof to teach it a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> what well, lesson? Get down from there. What, what lesson was he teaching him? I, want to know. I don't know, but I hope he learned it. <laughs> Imagine alligator gets stood there. He's like, "Oh fuck! I learned my lesson now." <laughs> Rumors have it that alligator is still up there. <laughs> Bro, was alligator jerky right. after that? All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, I was at a volleyball tournament last year, watching our 15 teams play. Um, 
What's so funny? Sorry, I'm just the thinking kid. of a Florida man throwing up this gator. <laughs> God, I am so I thought you were laughing kid. because I thought this that this was going to open. I was watching a 15s team play, and I asked in the pepperoni like pizza line to take pictures, and it's like literally the guy that they're stuck with. <laughs> That's, no, how I, that's where I saw that story going. Uh, so the I kid on the team was about to serve, and he had, as he served, two adults yelled at him from behind. They were not adults from our team, and one of them was wearing a jacket from the other team. The kid missed a serve, then yelled at the adults for messing him up. The kid's dad came over and also started yelling at him, and they got into a heated argument. One of the coaches for our 15s team walked over and calmed the dad down. They still hadn't moved to that point, so one of the moms on my team started yelling at the guy because they continued to bother the kids on the court. The 15s coach came over again and got one of the guys to leave, but the other one wouldn't move. The game went on. He was still yelling at the kids on the court, so they had to pause the game and get the head of the tournament to intervene. The head of the tournament told the guy he had to leave our side because he was interfering with the game, so he walked away. Even after walking away, the guy was walking around the court, (laughs) continuing to yell at our players. The head of the tournament had to get called over again, and the guy was kicked out of the tournament. My team and I were sitting on the bench waiting for the game to start, and we were talking to a mom from the other team, and she said that she had never seen a, either of those men before. <laughs> they hired hooligans, maybe. <laughs> I imagine, what were they saying? You're learning today. You're only like 14. <laughs> Here comes the thunder, Was buddy. this also Just held surfing. in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> it's at AAU Nationals. We're going to Florida this that summer. That is in Florida, so, no? AAU Nationals AAU. is not in Florida? So maybe... Oh, Maybe we will see the guy taking feet. Gage, get in there. If this guy has to take a picture of your feet, you gotta let him. That would yeah, be that would so be a full, circle, full circle moment. And let's get it. And let's get him on the pod. Let's ask him. I look for a guy in George's an American shirt, sweating at the. Maybe at, it's a uh, sweating and looking at the ground. Well, maybe it's the guy from uh, Pottstown that's like smooth as a seal. No, he's a coach. No, that guy, man. He, listen, listen. Oh yeah, he is he's a coach. Awesome. That's right. That's right. Joe, awesome. to, Joe you. No, saying no, the same no. thing, Joe. No, I. We no? shouldn't. Okay, you're right. No. You're right. All right, all right. Cut right. this part out. He's the man. Cut though. that part out. He's awesome. No, we won't I saw him a couple. I, I he saw is him great. last year. Who? Uh, so okay, where where do you guys rank this story in terms of like? Wait, I have one more. One for you or no? Oh, sorry. I know, but so far. Oh, okay. Uh, two. Two, two, probably. Okay, okay. But it is funny, like. Grown men yelling at fifteen year olds and and then like <laughs> not thing. stopping is pretty hilarious. Swarm, gotta swarm the enemy. Having gotta people surround the enemy. So parents funny. are crazy. Like people, I mean, just parents are crazy at these events. It's just like people get like out of control at junior events. Oh, and yeah. they like yeah. <laughs> you wake up the next day and you're <laughs> what the heck was I doing? In the who moment, was it that, just... who was it that like? Switching sides, like slapped his mom on the butt or something, and like kissed. What? Kissed his mom? Was I think it was and slapped him I on the butt. I think I know you're talking about. I think. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I no, can't no, no. Name names though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we don't need to though. say it, but yeah, no, it was a, it was something of that sort. But there's a missing piece that makes it make a little more sense somehow. But there's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Piece. <laughs> Let's continue, continue. There's nothing right. that gets me fired up than playing slap ass with my dad in between. In the third set. <laughs> right, Far me up, daddy. <laughs> okay. It's all the way out. Tom My, Brady kids It's, it's kids, reeled bro. out. Tom Brady Mac and his kids. <laughs> hey, Mac Jake. Kids. Jake. All right. I to- I, I, wait, wait. Last Jake, one. I told- wait, Jake. Jake. God, Jesus. You guys should never hear me any episode. That's so crazy. Wait, go, go. Um, what? I told <laughs> I I gave my that was like one of the harshest insults or the most brutal insults I ever told anyone. I looked at uh, Max, here's my setter. I said it's a joke. I looked at him one day. I was like, You kiss your dad on the lips, don't you, bro? <laughs> and he was like, What? Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I didn't hear I like, it. What'd you say? I was like, You definitely kiss your dad on the lips, don't you, bro? Like, Thanks, Dad. <laughs> He was so devastated, bro. He was so like twisted. He's like, bro, I swear I don't. I was like, yes, you do, dude. I know you. Oh, oh no! You and then were he your battled it out. Your dad on the lift, bro. I'm oh like, no! Yes, and then he battled he's it like, out. He's like the nicest guy too. He's like, he's, just, he's never been. I never see him mad or anything, but like, I could see him and his. Oh man, it's so funny, dude. So funny. Sorry, I just think that is such a good insult. Sorry, continue. All right, last one. I play in an open gym with some friends who are athletes but haven't really played volleyball all that much. The open gym is in a small town, so anyone who wants to show up can just come and show up. And one time, a pregnant lady came and played. My friend was on the opposite team from her, 
And during the point, someone tipped the ball right in front of my friend and he stuck his foot out, tried to pass it in, with his foot and ended up kicking the ball directly into the pregnant lady's face. Pregnant lady is totally fine, by the way. LMAO. Oh, that was, was way, I, yeah. Oh my God. I thought she was going to kick the pregnant lady and then she was going to be like in for a time. Give birth. Oh yeah. My mind was way different. Oh, That's wow. Ooh. Especially because it was in like a small silence. town, and I'm silence, thinking, please. oh, small town, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to give birth on the floor. <laughs> You're not gonna There's make it water. to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, she water break. The floor is- <laughs> we need them up. Oh, all right. Man. Well, all right. Those uh, are five stories. Yeah, I wasn't crazily have- impressed. I'm not gonna lie to the people out there. Ooh, yeah, Micah calling them out. I'm calling everybody out. I have crazy out. stories myself, honestly. I yeah. can, I can just rattle off a bunch of stories. You Gage has got about 100. <laughs> I've got a the few crazy. that are better. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, we did, but we did promise. Now, we, all right. We want to say we are grateful for sending in stuff. Thank you for sending yes. in stuff. We're Thank not, you we for don't sending it in. Or anything like that. No. Hey, and if you want to send in more crazy stories to redeem yourself, boost heaters. We're all about accountability here, though, you know? We're going to tell you the truth. Yeah, you got to tell the truth. You got to say the truth. I I was hoping for a little bit better ones. But even if they made it up, it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's the thing. Go ahead and just say she gave birth right there. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) Kelly kicked the baby out out of her, out out of its its womb and shot it across the floor. You know what I'm saying? And then caught it. (laughs) Have you seen that thing? And it was. Who caught the baby out of like a burning building? Was it Nelson Aguilar? Aguilar oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe. No, no, I don't think. It, no. I don't think it was actually him. But they were Nelson tagging Aguilar. him. After yeah, the, and they were saying Nelson Aguilar caught it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unlike Aguilar, and then he looked at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great it one. Was, it was like it, we're just thankful Nelson Aguilar wasn't under the building. Oh goodness me. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. We got to vote. We got to vote. We got to vote. All right. Micah, All right. what's your top one? I'll go feet. Feet finder? Joe? Yeah, I'm feet too. Feet. Joey? That's I'm going feet finder. Almost unanimous. And the, 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 thing, the thing that sold me was the chill teammate. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's so chill. 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 The chill guy that he is. <laughs> Followed him. Oh, I'm gonna want to send you guys a video. Have you guys seen the video of, of Woody? Uh, it's like an AI video of Woody from like uh, Toy Story, and he's like sitting on one of the toys, and someone comes up to him and he just gives him a dap and gives him one of these. Have yeah, yeah of course video? I have. It's an animation, uh, maybe, right? It's an animation. Maybe I've seen that. <laughs> the animation. I'll, one, I'll, yeah. I'll send it. Are people throwing around the shakos right now? Is that what's going on at home? Yeah. Because the guy that popped up on here was give me the give me the double twisties. Yeah, people. Uh, it's it's been like you see someone on the street, you hit them with like a, yee. It's no. Like the, yep. <laughs> in no slow. way. It's only in wow, slow. Micah. You, Micah. No Micah, way. Micah, you, wow. You don't take that cultural appropriation, bro. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, not okay, Jake. It's not me. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> nah. I, I actually do not. I actually do not. There's no, bro, you can do it, bro. The street. Everybody. No, I, I just don't do it because I think it's Bro stupid gave me the shock of pass. You got to take it, man. <laughs> they, yeah. People will walk down the street and just be like, yee, yee. <laughs> that's what people say hi to people. Crazy. I think, Jake, that's just your world. Jake, you live in a world. Like, we, we literally live in a different world. You, maybe even a further out, you live like in Narnia. Like, within the world within a world. You know what I'm saying? There's a little yeah. San Luis Obispo. Like you open up the closet door in. and boom, there's Jake and his buddies. Yeah. Jake, I wish you vlogged a little bit more about like your daily life. Just people like Jake <laughs> couldn't put what was in his daily life. I would life. love just Fat I would chance. love that content. You walking around just interacting with other frat bros and we'll just how, hire you, how you guys interact with and each other. And we can only send it to you. You just gotta live it up and play it up even more too. Everything about every like every part of your day has gotta be just fratted out. Even like how you wake up, like wake up to like some frat music and then like stop the alarm and just just start downing him some orange juice or something. And then like, (laughs) 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 
to the people of America, this is what I deal with. All Brush the time. your teeth with like, you know, like fireball. Like, yeah, fireball or something. <laughs> Breakfast is cereal, I, no milk. I know. I wish I, you guys uh, need to come. When you guys get back to America, you need to come for just like two days. And cereal, just, no milk. And brush don't your teeth. Tell, that Joe's alarm is just oh. the most sick intro to a vlog of all time. <laughs> Joe shaves his beard and you guys come out with me one night and slow and you guys do not tell anybody that you're like 27. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, won't be we're, obvious. We're getting a little, <laughs> we're getting a little older now, Jake. We're not like, <laughs> I'm game, Jake. I'm game. I just gotta get the a OK from the girl and I'm there. Hey, babe, Donna, babe, Donna, I know you're, I know I you're listening say, out gonna, there, Zana, I'm gonna embarrass you, the crap out of you. I'm gonna be oh. so fratted out. You have no idea. People are gonna Zana, say I know you're they listening. don't even know what please let is. Micah, please let Micah come, Jake. And come out Jake. with me one night in college. That's my graduation. Only no, my graduate. My graduation gift. Your Jake. frat bros are gonna literally think they've. They're not yeah. frat when they see how frat I am. Jake, frat if Micah, you get we got country Mike. There, you guys are gonna be. Over. You guys are gonna be home. I don't care. I need a couple. Either anyone, Micah. When are you coming? Three of us. I'm gonna Joe's walk around like this too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jake, if you get who do you know here? <laughs> what? Dude. Who do you know here, bro? Who do you know here? <laughs> it's Dude, like McDonald's. Either. <laughs> bro, either <laughs> who the freak do you know here, bro? Who the <laughs> freak do you know sir. here, bro? <laughs> you a pledge, bro? You a pledge? <laughs> you pledging, bro? Are you pledgy, bro? Are you pledgy? Buy me some fries, pledgy. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping me 20, pledgy with a. Uh, either. There's only three ways you get in this house. One, you're a bro. Two, you know it, bro. Or three, you're a freaking hot chick and you're valid, bro. <laughs> you're not one of those three, quite simply. Get, freaking get the freak out of my freaking face, bro. Get it and go, you know bro. Get it and go. Is? <laughs> I love this. Just let me, let, let me engage no, I, be front door security. Do. <laughs> let me engage Jake, be front, front oh door God. security. For one you night, me and Micah in your world, Jake, you're you would be embarrassed. You'd be like, Just I, give I, us front door security gig for one night, <laughs> thirty minutes. No, no. The thing is, we'll actually probably get punched out. Like we'll be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For everybody's sure. gonna actually want to scrap. Us. There's there's been a couple of times where the people like at the doors ha have gotten like hit by girls with not letting them into parties. Oh, girls! Like, there was this, girls slap people. Oh well, no. Nah, that <laughs> my friend. Well, yeah, got that is what it is. But <laughs> he literally got slapped. Yeah, that, it was like his, that's one okay. of his first weeks at Cal Poly. He was bouncing like the Halloween party, and he got slapped. And uh, how do you not dodge it, Micah? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then Micah. Thing is, <laughs> once she opens up game in the world of equality, if something's coming straight down Micah the pipe, is a, <laughs> Micah, are you are you big? Take equal that, Brittany. <laughs> Your friends, Jake. Your friends <laughs> <just> smacked Jake. <laughs> like slugs. Who <laughs> did you invite? Who did you invite to our party, Jake? They're not my friends. They're Holy not my friends. I don't know them. These guys are nuts. You definitely know them. No. They're decked out. We're like all out of system gear. And they're I'll, like 35. I'll light me up and then boom, shotgun. <laughs> shotgun a beer right there. <laughs> And then someone's gonna be like, dude, I didn't even chill like that. Turn the music <laughs> up! <laughs> Where's Mo Bamba? <laughs> dude, oh, goodness. Dude, dude, you know who we get? We'd, we'd have to bring in the Kalei Mao, and she would handle that, you know what I'm saying? In a <laughs> oh. heartbeat. Oh yeah. my god. The, would, it would be game over, bro. It would be. Ooh. Yeah, lit some people. Hey, by the way, guys, sure. make sure you come to our camps and clinic. She's a coach there. She's great. <laughs> but if you mess with her, she will parents. light you up. <laughs> she'll protect your kids. Not a liability it's, at all, parents. She'll, don't she'll worry. run. She'll run a coach on one, but not volleyball. It's just let's go. Drop the gloves. <laughs> coach on one with. Oh no balls, God. just straight fist. Let's go, coach. On. All I'm saying. You can imagine a coach just going, coach on one. Let's go. Drive right, the hands. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> so <laughs> feet, feet gets the slunks, huh? Yeah, feet gets the slunks. Congrats, feet. congrats. Feet, Sweet. we will contact you.
Sweet. Yeah. And we want to know 100%. who your chill teammate is. We need too. a picture of the feet with the slumps. <laughs> yeah. Can we, we send? For, can we send a T-shirt to the chill chill guy, chill teammate? Yeah. 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 Can you or send sticker, a bunch sticker, sticker, throw a sticker. Your feet, please. Throw in a sticker socks, for the. Though. We should throw him some socks. Throw him some socks so he keeps those things on, dude. Ooh, keep the dog. Yes, yeah, socks. Barking. Send some socks to the socks chill guy. Socks to the chill guy. Are yeah. you still? We gotta hope he's still friends with the chill guy. Still in contact. Bro, how could he not be? Guy so chill. <laughs> he's literally the chillest guy ever. <laughs> okay, I just want to say, like, this episode has been like ten percent volleyball, and I absolutely love it. This has been, this has been, this has been like a guy's so episode. chill. He lets me date his mom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally dude the other actually, i'm not gonna go there i'm gonna stop <laughs> i stop myself i know if I people gotta... literally like ca- catch a little glimpse of this i've said some pretty obnoxious stuff well here's the thing <laughs> if we didn't have camps and clinics obviously then we're like oh our brand is that then we'd be maybe a little more wild but Obviously, we tone it back. Obviously, fair, yeah. fair, hey, fair, fair, fair. You know, I was why? also. Because I'm. This the... is all in good humor, and I'm never touch a girl or hit a girl. Mike is getting canceled, <laughs> <laughs> guys. You know why this episode's just been so chill? Because look at our new flag. We got our That's new true. mascot, Usi. He's leaned up against the O, wearing socks with his feet crossed, holding a beverage. It's unclear what the beverage is. But he's holding a beverage and he's wearing sunglasses and he's super chill like pina that. colada, bro. Doctor Prices. Yeah. He's, Do you like whoa. pina Dr. coladas? Uh. Uh-huh. in the rain. Bow, now, now. This is awesome. That okay. could be. That I should be. That should be the theme music. Maybe the outro. Pina coladas. But, we, but then we can't. But then we can't monetize <clears throat> anything. Oh, copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah copyright. Yeah. In. yeah. Then it's blocked in certain right. countries. Fair, fair, then Uzbekistan fair. can't like listen to our podcast <laughs> or something, you know? Um, what's, okay. what's the country in Borat, Kazakhstan? What's the, what's the country? Kazakhstan, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's true. Okay, we're going right. to wrap it up. Gage. We have one more. Yeah, yeah. Funny, so, I have one last story about Kazakhstan, actually. Go. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> so me and, um, who was it, Dylan? I don't know. Me and a teammate of mine were in the sauna. And some guy came in and I don't know, out of nowhere, I just start talking like a fake language. And Dylan just starts like giving me some small responses in a fake language. And the guy's like, oh, like what, what language are you speaking? And I'm like, oh, Kazakh. And he's like, I'm from Kazakhstan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, no, forget literally. the. I mean, what are the chances of that? It was pretty hilarious. I think it was Dylan. I can't remember. Maybe it was Sam Jones or somebody. Did if they're listening, they can they can lie. verify this. Dude, honestly, I don't even know how we got away with it. Like he should definitely know that that was not his native language. <laughs> and but like we just sat there in like kind of silence after that weird interaction and then like five minutes and we just got up and left. I was at UCLA like two weeks ago and I was just thinking about the line story. I was just literally like gonna try to recreate the line story, Micah. Oh yeah, line story is a good one. <laughs> um okay i want to say talk about i have one more thing this is more of a pop culture thing big thing that's been going on and also in my department as well before we do a quiz <clears throat> let me wrap it up here okay don't roll your eyes at me do not roll your eyes at me but i have a question for you guys have you guys heard of i saw that joe have you guys heard of or slash seen dune part two have you seen the first one dune part one <laughs> Wait, you seen what? Dune, D U N E. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Nope. <clears throat> Have you guys heard my, of it? Not my vibe. Joe, I've definitely heard of it. Isn't that there a show, show on Apple TV and then now there's movies and books and stuff? Oh my god, there's okay. No, wrong, very wrong. Dune. Okay, Joe, Joe, I need I need your attention right here. I won't talk to it for long, but I'm looking at one Dune movie. Too. I'm looking at like what it's Dune about. Part Two. It's out right now. So this is Zendaya, Til- Timothy Chalamet, Josh Brolin. You know, Austin Butler. Have you guys, you guys have seen it? You guys are, like, look it up right now. Look it up right now. Dune part two. D-U-N-E. Look at it right now. Micah, Jake, you there? Oh, I, 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 I feel like I've seen this, no? Yeah, it was like big sandworms and whatnot or no? I don't know, but they're in the desert for sure. Dude, I'm just going to say this. Definitely in the desert. Joe, Joe, you need to watch Dune. I am so engulfed in this universe. I'm looking at it. That, that does not look like Dude, yeah, no, yes, you would. Dude, yes, you would. Yes, you would. No way I'm Joe's going to like that. 
Dude, yes, he would. He would. He would like it. This is one of the ones. Like, I get it. Like, here's the thing. When I tell people to go see something, good. I'm a, I'm a movie buff. I get it. They take it with a grain of salt. They're like, okay, okay, Gage. I'm going to go see a, a movie about a freaking worm, people riding worms in the sand desert and Zendaya. You know what I'm saying? No. Dude, Doom Part 2 is my favorite as the best movie, probably movie experience I've ever had in my entire life. In my entire life. Get I saw it here. twice in three days. I would, I swear to God. I would see it a third time if they had IMAX here. They don't have IMAX. Of course, I asked the locals. Do you have IMAX? Of course. Yeah, yeah. We have IMAX. We have IMAX. They don't have IMAX here. I looked it up. <laughs> Not, only in Berlin. Like, when it's like four hours away. But I'm telling you, it is the greatest film experience of my life. And the reason I'm telling you this <clears> and asking if you've seen it is I'm pushing you to see it. Is it's not one that you can just, you can go watch it at home when it gets on DVD forever. Or on DVD, on, on demand or streaming services. I'm telling you guys, VHS, you see this movie, VHS, uh, one of those. Um, but I'm telling you, you need to see this movie. Like, watch Doom Part One. It's on free on Netflix, or if you have HBO Max, you have VPN. You need to watch this. Do you have any, Micah? I feel like I've anywhere. Jake has like the attention span of like a fly. Like he can't even <laughs> watch a 30 minute. He can't even watch a TV show. So. Let us throw him out the picture. <laughs> Joe does not have an open mind about this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Boom. Right That's me, baby. Micah. Micah, I'm telling you right now. I'm the lone me, wolf, baby. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm listening. It's based off, it's based off uh, a, like like an 860-page book. That for, well, Doom Part 1 and Part 2 are like the one book. Um, you need to go watch it. It's like everyone's talking about it. Everyone's seeing it. They're like, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. Ever. And there's going to be a third one. Come on, like 20, 20, 20, 30. Well, it's not I feel like people yet. say that a lot. I hear that. Joel, a lot. Joel, I'm no, I'm no, not bro, recently. Bro. People, dude, movies have not been what they used to be well, recently. Of, dude, I'm telling lot. you, I was actually talking about. Yeah, there's during overpopulation, man. Well, too also, many movies. Yeah, man, you should. If you're really interested, you should talk to uh, uh, Dirty Mike about it. And okay. Just get like all the details about like what's happening. How, I'm not gonna go into that because, <laughs> uh, but it's a really interesting conversation. He can explain what's to what's like even for the people listening. Maybe they're a little bit interested. What's like the the conclusion, like in a well a spark like, note summary? Well, there was like big protests, I, like especially <clears throat> throughout COVID, and then after with a lot of the actors and how things were handled with the the unions and stuff or the forms. But then there was these organizations. I apologize, I don't know the names. Of the, yeah, yeah, anything, yeah, no, but there's good. these organizations that formed that pretty much started. Um, what they did, they started like packaging movie deals together for. Uh, for a lot of the, um, I, don't know <clears throat> I just know they were putting like film like packages together with actors, actors and like scripts and everything with directors. They start presenting um, a lot of these movies to major like film uh, uh, to funding funding them. No, 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 no. They uh, I don't even know the names of production, production companies. companies? Joey, production about? companies. There we go production companies they and they would present them and so it just got like so absurd of how these movies were getting formed that everybody just started protesting and now these organizations that were formed like 20 30 years ago are all just like going under and folding um and like the biggest one in hollywood literally just announced like very recently that they're folding down and it's like severely affected how movies are produced and how difficult it is and um and the whole like hollywood scene Hmm. but uh, I apologize for my lack protest, of knowledge yeah. on. Uh, <clears throat> I literally do not know anything about movies. I just said like one day Mike went on a rant, uh, or not a rant, but yeah, he was just kind of explained to me how things are um, kind of falling apart in Hollywood. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize. But it's, also, it's, like the overpopulation of like the space. Like you go on Netflix and there's like 200 movies, and like even like they they're they're releasing new movies all the time and just new stuff to watch. Whereas when we were kids, it was like okay, like this one good movie is going to come out this month or like even less than that and everyone's waiting and then you got to go to the theater to watch it. And I feel like even like commercials and like stuff that made people wait, like we missed that a little bit. For sure. It's, 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 there's multiple reasons I can go into as well that I've really looked into it. Another big part of it is that we, what we don't realize is DVD sales. So back in the day, what happened was a lot of time, okay, the okay, let's say production company. They're like, we're gonna green light this movie. You green light this movie, right? They do the movie. They're like, okay, it doesn't have a huge budget. It won't do crazy in theaters, but then it can get like a cult classic type of vibe to it and get a bunch of DVD sales. Watch it at home, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now you can't do that. Go straight to the streaming service. 
you know what I'm saying, a lot of these movies. And again, the, again, the, with with his with his, which is we want more and more and more, obviously, with like consumerism and stuff, you know. So it, it leads to this as well. I'm I'm gonna move off the subject because I know this is the wrong audience to talk to about. I, I've I've gone on multiple <clears throat> hours. Of, I'm so immersed in this universe, Micah. I need you to look at me right now. I'm telling you, watch Doom Part One. It's on Netflix and it's also on HBO Max. You, I, I'm telling you, you will never have an experience. Do you have IMAX over there in Turkey? Do you have any idea by chance or no? I don't know yet. I don't know. Don't worry about it. You need to watch Doom and you need to see Dude Two at theaters. I'm telling you that right now. It's the greatest movie experience of my life. Maybe my favorite movie of all time. I don't even know. It's like it's like that much. Yeah. Where it's like holy crap. Okay, I just want to ask you guys about that. Okay, um, sir. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's get to the competition here. Who, wh- wh- where are we at? Where are we at right now? Pittsburgh. We're Pittsburgh. 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 Town. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you some hints because I know that this podcast has been a little long and I don't want to drag this out because then it gets a little boring. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this man is 65 years old. He's a businessman. And he's from Pittsburgh. 65 years old. And he's a businessman. Okay. Um, is he tied into sports at all? Yes. Okay. Let's go rapid fire. Rip off questions, guys. Jake. Is he part of a sports organization? Yes. Gage. Uh, is he part of the Pittsburgh Steelers? No. Is he involved in the NBA? Yes. Um, Pat Riley. No. Is he part Gage? of the Boston Celtics? No. Um, is he... Is it Mark Cuban? Okay, Joe wow. Worsley. That's our first. That's our scoreboard. First Jake, one. how many points is that for you? Jake. So bageled. How many? Jake, we're going to give you a few more episodes and then uh, it's going to have to be a little punishment, bud. Ooh, Jake spanking. spanking. Live spanky. If you go scoreless for like <laughs> the first 10 rounds, then that's going to have to be something. Live stream. Of it's gonna be a Spanky. full cycle for you, Jake. A full cycle. Is that two? Is that two? <laughs> wait, it's two two zero, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. bageled. Yeah, two two zero. I got Guy Fieri and John Deere. Remember that? All right. Well, that was a good one. That was a fun one, boys. I really enjoyed this a lot. I don't know if anyone learned anything. I hope the listeners this. enjoy it too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I I love wild podcasts. This is my favorite type of podcast. Yeah, this um, is like a. What is a uh, protect our parks or something like that? Joe Rogan pardon just our, has Shane Gillis. Part of my take. I love it. I love part of my take. I listen. Yeah, to yeah they well, just... for the listeners out there, we had a lot of fun today. Hope you guys had fun. I gotta but say this before guys... we sign off. Uh, Perugia has to have like the most expensive third outside in the history of volleyball. <laughs> yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. How much money? How much money? One point five. It's bro. Way on. I know how much. Isn't he like one point four there? Something like that. One point four million dollars for a third outside for those listening out there. Let's say you have to know about that. Okay, let's push some stuff here at the end of the. Hey, wait. Uh, and I Jake? was gonna say to finish my sentence. If there's anything you guys want to hear, drop it in the comment section. We read all the comments. Gage responds to all the comments or the ones that. Not all the time, but I try. Uh, but if you want to hear something, just drop it in the comments. We love you guys again. March fifteenth. Uh, slunks and merch shop. This is only you only seen some of the uh, the slunks and merch. Go look at our Instagram, our TikTok, or our website at some.net to check out the rest of the full ensemble. We're pushing a lot of stuff out so you guys see everything. Um, whether we want, whether we get it, some stuff is more expensive than others. That's why we make stuff more affordable. Um, different items, different prices as well. Any support you guys give us, we really, really love. Um, support the boys though as much as you guys can just by watching, by getting merch, do whatever you can. We love you guys. And just remember, if you can't get out of the kitchen, get out of the if you can't get out yeah. of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, baby. No, if you can't, if you can't handle, the handle the heat. If you can't handle the heat, goddamn kitchen, then it's been another episode of Bye. Out of system.